Hey everyone, welcome to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. And as you can see behind me here, I have done a lot of work on the base since the last episode. Um, I think it's pretty much done now, at least in terms of like getting the, the outside space down. Obviously there's still a lot to do inside. Um, so this is kind of the lower level. As you can see, just kind of a lot of space, a few crafting stations at the moment. And we also have this upstairs area that extends out over the original hut. So we have some extra room up here, a few windows so we can like see what's going on outside. Um, and then this is the main part of the base. And over here, I've just kind of included a little bit of a door so that the bed is safe because Dinos still sometimes spawn in this part of the base, um, and that's no fun. I don't like waking up with raptors on top of me. So uh, the bed is safe over there, and I have been logging off in this area so that I don't get eaten right away when I log in. All right, so um, that's the base, and that's kind of where we're at in terms of progression at the moment. And I thought what we would do today is go tame ourselves a saber tooth. So I've made up a saddle using the tannery, so it's a little bit better. Um, I do have some trink arrows, and I do have some narcotics, and we can easily get meat along the way. We're going to take the trike because, um, well, I would love to take the pteranodon, but the pteranodon doesn't have any health, and to actually tame the saber tooths, we're going to have to get down and bola them so that they can't run away. And I don't think the pteranodon can take any hits from anything, basically. Like, if we accidentally run into a Rex or something, that's that's it. We're done. All right. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I think a Sabertooth is going to be really useful. Um, they are really great caving dinos, and I really want to do, like, the cave in the south before the game officially releases. So in order to do that, I think we need to get a Sabertooth and possibly... Um, possibly two saber tooths, a mate boosted pair, and breed them, because I would really like to see what the imprinting can do to dinos on this, and I want to check out breeding. So that's kind of the goal for today. And I keep mentioning the official release of the game, and that is because we actually have... What level are you, saber? I don't know. You're pretty close, though. Five. Nope, we don't need you. Um... Wardrum Studios has recently announced... Are we safe to get down here? Probably. Uh, Wardrum Studios has recently announced that they will be releasing the Android version of the game at the same time that the iOS version officially drops. So right now we have the beta. Where did that... Quit rolling. Quit rolling. Ugh, the ragdoll needs to be fixed really bad. Um... So this is great news for Android players. You're not going to have to wait to be able to play this game. You're just going to be able to play it. Um, once the iOS officially comes out, Android users will also be able to play. So this is really good. Um, and it also basically... Can we harvest this one? We need more meat. There we go. I want this egg. We also basically are... Um, we're pretty close now, I think, to the release of the game because Wardrum Studios has been kind of hinting that that's going to be soon, and they are sticking to their late spring prediction. So by June 21st, we should see this game officially out, um, since that is the official start of summer. Now, I'm not sure how well they're going to be able to stick to that schedule, and I'm not sure if that's really going to be the case because there are still some very very big bugs in the game um, that they need to address before they can do that. Most notably, the taming bug where things, when you feed them a narco berry, you can't keep them unconscious with narco berries. You have to use actual narcotics because it like switches their taming food. So you can only feed them one narco berry every time they eat a different food. It's really strange. It's a weird bug. Um, but I'm super excited about all of this happening. I'm excited for people to be able to play the game and to um, basically just have like a more engaged community because you guys will be playing and it'll be... Where did that saber go? They always move so much. It's hard to catch them with the spyglass. Come on. All right. Inch our way around here and see what we have. Uh... 
Uh, three. Okay. We're gonna leave that alone. I'm looking for a really high level saber here um, because it's going to be contributing to a caving dino. Um, definitely high level is the way to go. I think we, we're gonna need that. Alright, so I'm gonna keep looking for a saber tooth for now and I will bring you guys back in just a little bit when we find one. Hopefully it won't take me too long. I did do a little scouting, so I've seen a few saber tooths around, um, but it may take me a while to get around and actually get them. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, guys, we are back, and there is a level 28 saber tooth female right here. Now, that is pretty amazing. That is really close to max level, um, and I think we want to tame this one. So I'm going to run up here. And see if I can't get it to come at me. They're pretty... They do like to aggro. No, that was a really slow throw. Oh, I forgot this guy's on neutral. Um, okay. This is gonna be a little tricky. I don't like wasting bolas. Quit dismounting. Ah, I hate that feature. Pull out a bola. No. Don't hit it. And we missed. There we go. Can we... We're gonna waste this bola. Let me see if I can... There we go. Not waste it. Oh no. It did waste it. Great. That's okay. We can take a few hits. Um, I really want to tame this saber. I don't want it to die. I don't want to hit it. The aiming on this game is not so great. Okay. And now, yes. Okay. Now we should be able to kind of circle around and just put some arrows in this guy. Hopefully he goes out really soon. Or she, even. Okay. Um, it shouldn't take very many tranks. I hate when it does that. It like doesn't fire, but it consumes the arrow. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So now... Stay, Trike. We do have some meat. There is another saber over there. Hopefully he does not aggro on me just yet. Just in case here. Yeah, no. Don't you do it. Ugh, okay. We're gonna have to kill this saber. Which will be fine. If we could attack, that would be great. Well, we've got the trike anyway. For some reason, like, the, the attack is not working. Like, it won't let me double tap and hold and attack. I'm not sure what's going on. It's really slow. Like, I've been noticing this the last couple of days. Like, for some reason, the, uh... The targeting is all messed up on it. You go, Trike. You kill it. I don't see where that saber has any room to go. Perfect. Ooh, it looks like the Trike is eating the saber. Gross. You eat berries. Stop that. Okay. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to harvest this guy up and feed him to his former mate. Um, it's a little gross, but that's how Ark works. Meat is meat. Alright, we're gonna run back over here. If we could actually run, we can sprint. There we go. Man, it's so strange. The, the controls on this game, like, sometimes they're great and really intuitive, and then sometimes it's just super clunky and... I feel like they need to fix it. Particularly the hold to dismount, I really don't like that. That's It's a really rough function. Okay, so I'm just going to give you all that. Um, so this might be kind of a slow tame. Not too slow, I think. But I am going to see if we're getting this narco berry issue again with the taming. Because if we are, that's going to be kind of a problem. Let's see. 
Yep. Um, we have the Narcoberry issue. And this is why we have narcotics. Is that somebody's Quetzal up there? Somebody must have a Quetzal up there um, to have a structure floating like that. Must be a bird. Okay. So, yeah. Um, the Narcoberry thing might be an issue. Luckily, Sabres don't take a ton of narcotics to begin with. So we're just going to hang out here. I'm going to make sure that nothing hits this guy. Hopefully we're going to check the taming effectiveness. Okay, good. We're still really high. Um, yeah, and I will bring you guys back when we have this saber up and ready. Um, we'll ride her back to the base and then head out and find, hopefully, a high-level male saber to tame as well. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys, we are back, and this saber tooth is just about to take its last bite here. Um, I'm super excited. Our taming effectiveness is not great because we were using just regular raw meat um, without any boosts or kibble or prime meat or anything like that. Um, but I still think that's going to be okay. I think this is going to be a decent enough level saber tooth, um, especially once we start leveling it. I think we'll do fine. Um, and especially if we breed an imprinted saber tooth first, then we should be really okay. Awesome. All right. So a level 38 is not bad. Now, I did input this saber tooth's stats into dodo decks. Um, let's equip that. Come on. There we go. Um, and it does appear to be decent. Um, it's not like... It's not like the highest level saber tooth we could get. Um, the weight is kind of high, but everything else is just average. Um, the health is almost high, it looks like, which is good. And I believe these stats should update. Nope, they're a little bit higher than they were when I was taming. So the stamina has gone up by 60 points or so. Um, the health is about the same. The weight's a little higher. The melee's a little higher. Um, the food's a little higher. All of that's pretty good for us. Um, cool. So, that was not what I wanted to do. There we go. I'm going to have the trike follow me here. Let's get out of third person. All right. And so, oh, nice. We're really quick. Um, I want to take this saber back to base um, and hopefully avoid too many fights on the way. Uh, I don't think we're that strong yet until we do some leveling and get some health into this guy. And then we're going to go out and tame a second saber tooth because we need a high level male to join with this guy. Um, and then we can do some breeding hopefully. So stay tuned. I will bring you guys back in a little bit, probably when we find another saber tooth to tame. See you in a bit. Okay guys, we are back and there is down here a Sabretooth male that is level 20. Now that is not the highest level that I have seen. There's a scorpion right here. Um, but that is decent and I think that because our female Saber is such a high level that we will be okay if we tame this level 20. Now unfortunately, there's also a Carno down there and there are a couple of Rexes in the area. So if we do this, we're going to have to be really careful. Um, so I may have to snipe this Carno. And then find a way to like lure the Saber further down the hill. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't hit this Carno from this distance. And if I could quit dismounting while I was aiming, that would be great. Missed. Okay. Um, he might be too far away now. Rex, no, go away. I don't need you. Yes. Okay, so we hit the Carno once. And it's running, which is great. Yes, we hit it again. Feel like a sniper. Nope. I hate that I dismount. Okay. We're going to get back on here. Because that Rex is awfully close. It's making me nervous. He's so close. Ugh. I don't know if this is going to work. I really want this saber. But I cannot think of a way to lure him away from that Rex without also attracting the Rex's attention. Okay. 
Unless we can snipe these guys both. But the Rex has a lot of health. Um, I'd prefer if I could hit the Carno. But I don't know. I'm pretty sure I can't hit him from this distance. Oh my gosh, I did. I hit the Carno from this distance. Cool. Um. Yes. Oh. Oh, he went flying. Okay. Uh, well, GG. Dead Carno. That's, that's good. Um, now the problem is... Oh no, where'd the saber go? No, where did my saber friend go? The Rex is dealing with the Dimorphodons. Did we lose the saber? I'm gonna be mad if we lost the saber. You know what? Just, whatever. We're gonna run down here. We can take this Rex. I'm pretty sure. I won't if I don't have to. I missed. Yeah, you come at me, stupid thing. He's only level 2, and he's already low on health, so he's been fighting the Dimorphodon, so we should... This is going to be easy. I didn't realize he was that low. Um, and then I can still see the Saber. He's moving around right over there, which is good. So we do have some Bolas. There he is. Oh no. Oh, that makes it hard. Can we? Yes. Okay. Now I just need to get down here. And quickly kill this raptor set, because apparently there's two raptors. We can get these gone. Okay. So now we can run back up here. Grab my crossbow. Dang it. I want to get this saber out before that bola breaks, which is going to be really soon, unfortunately. Oh, and I fell off. Great. No. What is hitting me? More sabers. Great. You are not the ones I want. I'm going to be mad if these are really high levels. 19. That's not too bad. And that's a raptor. Don't. No. Oh, wait, this guy's level 29. Are you female or male? What are you? Female. Okay, I don't feel bad then. We are going to kill you because we already have our high-level female. Um, we just need a male. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this nuisance. That other saber is running. Hopefully, hopefully we can figure out where it went and catch it. Hopefully it didn't get into a fight with something. Where are it? Where is it? I know it's around here somewhere. Um, dang it. There he is. There he is. He's right there. And he's still running, which is, like, good and not good at the same time. There we go. Yeah. Where'd he go? Oh, man. First person in this game is, like... It's just terrible. Okay, where's that... S where did he go? He's near here. I just can't see where he went. He ran off. No. No. I did all that work. Where... Did the saber go? Well, there's a raptor. I was gonna harvest the Rex for Prime and, like, tame him up really well, but... Ugh. Of course, of course he would disappear on me. And this raptor is gonna try to mess with me. Man, this is just a bad area. Alright. I'm gonna keep looking, guys, and see if I can find another decent level saber. I will bring you guys back in a little bit. Okay, guys, I have found a level 20 male saber. This may be the same one that we tried to knock out earlier, all healed up. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and bullet this guy. And then just quickly start tranking him, because I am tired of searching for sabers. It has been a very long time. Um, 
And at this point, I'm just, I'm taking what looks good. Awesome. Okay. So now we have this guy down. Um, I'm going to check the area real quick. Okay, we look okay here. So I'm going to go ahead and take some meat and start taming this guy up. All right, level 20 male. That's decent health for this guy. Um, it is lower than the other saber, but that is totally fine. It is eight levels lower in general. Um, the stamina is higher than the other saber had, which is good. Cool. Okay, so we have our male saber. It is being tamed up. Um, can I get on, please? Thank you. Okay. So hopefully that dodic doesn't bug us. Um, all right. So I'm going to keep an eye on this saber and make sure everything goes as well as it possibly can here. And I will bring you guys back when we have him all tamed up. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, we are back. And this saber tooth is just about to take his last bite. Um, unfortunately, it is dark, so there's not a whole lot I can do to show off the saber tooth once it gets up. Um, I did take a look at the stats, and they look okay. I think the stamina on this guy is higher than the stamina on our saber tooth, um, or will be once it's tamed up. So that's good, because I actually, yep, there we go. I actually plan to breed these guys, and um, yeah, so hopefully we can get this guy's stamina and the other saber tooths, um, basically health and melee and all of that. Um, I will double check these stats and compare them. Um, I did screenshot the tamed stats of the original saber tooth that we tamed before I did anything. Um, like I started leveling health pretty quickly, but I did make sure to write down the stats. Um, and so we'll know exactly what we're looking for in terms of getting kind of a kind of a super saber, I guess we could say. All right, so I'm gonna get this guy to follow me and I'm gonna head back to base for now and wait for it to be a little bit lighter. And then we are gonna see what we can do about getting some saber tooth babies. I will see you guys in a little bit. You coming, Trikey? There we go. Okay guys, we are back at base and I have crafted up this tiny little breeding pen, um, which I think is pretty great. And I put both of our saber tooths in here and one of them is already on wandering and now the other one is on wandering and they are officially mating. Awesome. So basically what I'm trying to do here is get a baby saber tooth and see if we can't get some imprinting done I'm not sure how that works on Arc Mobile or to see if um, if we can't get some stat bonuses or something and basically to check out the whole breeding process and to see what that's like and what kind of things we can get out of it um, and also just because well I don't know breeding is a huge part of the PC game of Arc um, and I think it would be really useful to, to know how it works on mobile. On top of which, we are going to go do the cave in the south at some point. And um, to do that, I think I want a saber to take with me that's leveled and is really tough. Because it can be... Um, it's not really a hard cave, I don't think. But again, I've not done it on mobile before, so it's going to be interesting to see. Um, yeah. So I will bring you guys back when... This saber is about to have itself a little baby saber. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, so it has not been that long. Um, the breeding process is actually very quick. However, the gestation progress is very slow. So um, unfortunately this is a little bit too much like vanilla arc for my liking. The sabers were not going to have that baby for another four hours, according to this. Um, and that's just a really long time to wait. So I think we're not going to wait around for this this episode. Maybe we'll do some, like, we'll do like a whole episode on the baby saber and see what that's about um, when we get there. But for now, um, I'm basically going to set a timer on my phone and come back and check this in about four hours and nine minutes. Because unfortunately that's just too long and 
this episode was getting on the long side anyway, so I think that's going to be where we end off. Um, maybe I'll make my way in here and turn off their wandering so that at least, um, at least they won't wander off on me. All right, so this is our female. There we go. Excellent. So this is our female. This is our high-level one um, who's having the baby. And I'm going to leave her in here. Hopefully this will be a pretty safe little pen for her. And I'm going to move this guy out for now. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy, please do hit that like button. It really does help me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you want to see more Arc Mobile gameplay, um, please hit the subscribe button and we are going to be doing the cave soon and hopefully taming an RG not long after that. That's kind of my plan for where this is going. Um, RGs are kind of a pain. I'll have to build a pretty big trap, but that's okay. It's going to be fun. Um, and at least we are getting to the point where we can do some of these things now, which is good because the game is going to release soon. And yeah, that's going to be awesome for everybody, but I will have to start over. So I wanted to really get into some of these um, higher level things like taming sabers and breeding. Got to fix my torch real quick. There we go. Yep, um, taming sabers, breeding, and taming RGs and doing caves and things like that. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Um... Yep, I really hope you did enjoy, and yeah, signing off. This is the Iguana. I will catch you guys in the next one.